All right, welcome to my video. My name is Echogen. In this video, we will go over the mechanics of Udubek, the first boss in Sandstorm Temple. He starts off with a frontal four hit blockable attack. The second and fourth hit from this attack inflicts daze. Next is a frontal two hit unblockable linear breath attack. Frontal 2 hit blockable attack, the second hit inflicts daze. Expanding unblockable AoE. Treat this AoE like punishment on Raven King. So getting hit by that AoE, or even iframing it, will still give you a debuff stack. That lasts for one minute, and it deals damage over time. It's gonna hit within the inner circle, to middle, and then outer. He's going to end, to end his attack pattern with a front to back to front linear unblockable attack. And now he's going to repeat. So there's the four hit, breath attack, two hit, expanding ring, so inner, middle, outer. And then he would have finished the other pattern, which would have been front back to front. But since he got pushed to mechanics, he's going to do mechanics. So mechanics in normal mode happen at 80 and 30. In hard mode, they happen at 90, 60, and 30%. He's going to jump to the middle of the room, which is going to cause a small AoE knockback when he lands. And then there's going to be a shockwave AoE. You need to either jump over it, iframe it, or use an approach skill towards the boss to avoid getting hit by this AoE. Next is the multiple AoEs he's going to cast around the room. They're going to be scattered. And he's going to do this for a total of eight times. You can see this message here where it says he tries to catch someone in a sand trap. Meaning that he's going to target the furthest person with a chained attack. And this attack is going to leave a 10 minute buff on whoever it touches. The attack bounces twice after the initial hit, which is a total of three stacks. So the furthest player must be close to two other players in order to share the stacks or conduct the stacks, however you want to word it. Because having more than one stack results in death and that applies both in normal and hard mode. So the furthest person must also be nearby two other people in order to share the stack that way each person gets one stack so all three players that do this they're going to get a buff called annihilation the boss is going to attempt to do a room wide five hit aoe attack his cc bar will open up cc to stop this he's going to do a, another room wide aoe attack which is going to inflict a debuff on everyone for one minute and this debuff is known as engrave so players who do not have the stack of annihilation buff which if, if you recall from earlier that's from sharing that chained attack there they will be immobilized so everyone besides those three, those three players will be immobilized for 25 seconds so the three players will not be immobilized or the three markers, sorry. So instead their buff will be changed into something called after effect, which lasts for 50 seconds. In hard mode, players will instantly die if they receive any stacks of annihilation, if they still have the after effect debuff. So the boss is going to perform more AOEs, his CC bar will open up, and then the players who are not immobilized should stun to stop this. Although it's not too crucial if they do not in, in normal, in hard mode, they should. Now, while this is going on, there's also going to be a new buff status applied on the boss. It's called Hourglass. So the instant that buff disappears, 
Those three players who are not immobilized need to do knockdown. All right, so the buff is gone. The CC bar is opened up again. This is where it's very critical. A, a knockdown must be done here. So the boss is going to do a room wide AOE slam and it's going to free everyone who was immobilized. And if you recall earlier, everyone had a, uh, a debuff called engraved. So that now changes to self defense chi buff and you get that for 30 seconds. His CC bar will open up again. He's going to do more AOEs. You should CC to stop this. So he's going to create this sphere. And if you look at us, each of us have a little like sphere around us as well. So that is the self-defense chi buff that we got from doing knockdown at that one critical moment. So you need that for what he's about to do here. Because he's going to do a 5 hit room wide AOE attack. On normal mode, if you forget to KD, it's not over because you can iframe. But in hard mode, it's going to wipe you. So you cannot iframe it on hard mode if you fail to do KD. There is one extra thing that this boss does outside of the mechanics. So he does a special attack, and that happens at 55% in normal mode. And then in hard mode, he does that right after 30%. So he's going to jump to the middle of the room and create a shockwave AOE. He's going to pull everyone to him and do a bunch of AOE attacks. And then he's going to throw persistent linear AOEs at the two furthest players. So in normal mode, that's all he'll do for his special attack. After that, he'll just resume his attack pattern until you push him to his next health threshold for the mechanic. In hard mode, he'll do an additional phase of annihilation. So if you recall, Annihilation is where he targets the two furthest people with a chained attack, which bounces up to two times. And that must be shared between three people, because you only want one stack of each. So here we go, 30%. He's going to jump to the center of the room. It's going to cause a small AoE knockback at this location. Remember that the phase in normal mode happened at 80 and 30. In hard mode, it's 90, 60, 30. Here comes the shockwave again. He's going to cast multiple AoEs around the room eight times. Soon we're going to see the message that he tries to catch someone in a sand trap, so he targets the furthest person with a chain attack. Must share that with two other people. So three people are sharing it. They each get a stack each. CC bar opens up. This is where you want to CC him because he's going to try to do a room wide five hit AoE attack. He's going to do another attack which inflicts engrave on everyone for one minute. So everyone is immobilized besides the three people who shared the uh, chained attack. His CC bar is going to open up. Ideally, the three people who are not CC'd should CC this. He's going to have the hourglass icon. Keep an eye on that. So the hourglass icon disappeared. This is where those three, play those three players need to do knockback. So now he's going to free everyone from the immo immobilization. CC bar will open up again, so you want stun. So because... KD was applied, everyone gets a self-defense chi buff, so you do not need to worry about this attack. Remember that if you fail KD, you will not get that buff. So on normal mode, you can iframe it. Uh, in hard mode, it's an instant wipe if you do not do knockdown. So there we go, that is how you do the mechanics for the first boss in Sandstorm Temple. I'll include a summary of the mechanics, so if you miss something or, you're not, uh, or if you're not sure, just look in the video description. As always, I will leave a referral link to Exit Leg. Uh, try it out. You know, you get three days for free. 
If you like it, use my discount code ECOGEN to get 20% off. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps.